Sometimes I think I need a theme song. Mm -hmm. Welcome to what Adrian thinks. Hey guys, it's me, Adrian, getting right into this week's video. But first, if you missed last week's recipe for my stewed chicken, wait no further. Well, you know, watch this one and then go back and check it out. <laughs> it is a delicious recipe. Now, shout out to my subby, Patrice. You are absolutely right. That onion, bacon, and fig jam does deserve to go on everything. Now, on to this week. I'm going to show you how to make these deliciously easy buttery biscuits. So hang tight for this recipe. Hi guys and welcome back to What Adrian Thinks. It's me, Adrian. Today I'm going to show you how I make these delicious, quick and easy, don't start with me folks, quick and easy biscuits. Mm -hmm. I'm well known for these biscuits y'all. So uh, pay close attention. Mm -hmm. I'm going to point you down. Okay guys, so this recipe for the biscuits is actually doubled. You can half the ingredients and do half batch. You don't have to make as many as I'm making right here. This is melted butter right in your pan. And I'm gonna sit this aside. I have four cups of baking mix. You can use Bisquick or you can even use the store brand of baking mix. Doesn't matter, they all work out great. Okay, next I have a heaping cup of sour cream. So I'm just incorporating the sour cream right into the baking mix. It's just how I like to do this. It really makes them a little more tender and flaky. Okay, so um, half of this batter, this mixture, is going to be regular how I would normally make them. And about half, maybe even less than half, I'm going to fold in some blueberries. I have some frozen blueberries that I'm going to use later for a blueberry cobbler, but I'm going to take a few of them and add in. So we're going to have some blueberry biscuits. Come here. All right, so I have a cup of whole milk. And I'm going just shy, probably leaving about a quarter of a cup in there. And I'm just gonna fold that in. This is a sticky dough, so don't be alarmed if it looks like a just a big dough ball, you know, that's really soft. Don't be concerned, that's how it's supposed to look. And you'll see how we bring it together as we go along. So just keep on mixing, bringing it right together. It comes together so fast. Inga's in the background, say hey, hey. Hi, everybody. <laughs> These are actually one of Inga's favorite things. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Can't wait till they're done. She loves these biscuits. So if you don't know, you know now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they are good. They're, they're so good. And I don't make them often <laughs> because... Nope. But uh, not often enough for you. <laughs> So I think these can use a little more of the uh, milk. So I have that quarter of a cup. I'm just gonna go a little shy of that again. Okay, so this is looking good. Okay guys, so I have about half of our biscuit dough down. The other half I'm putting on the side. <laughs> I just like literally sprayed myself with biscuit dough. <laughs> oh goodness. Real cooking going on here, y'all. All right, and you're not gonna mess with it too much. It's just that I'm trying to, I'm looking for the feel that there, I can mess with it without it sticking to my glove or to your hand, however, whatever you're doing. All right, so Inga's gonna hand me a little more flour. And I keep saying flour, but baking mix. Y'all know what I mean. All right, so this is coming along. Okay, and this is almost where I want it. I can sort of handle it a little better, as you can see. 
still finding some little sticky parts, but that's okay. Just add a little flour and work it out. Just work it out. All right, so I'm just pressing them out. And I'm gonna actually take off my gloves to do the next part. Hey okay, guys, I'm just putting a little flour on the edge. Okay, so as I'm moving ahead and cutting out my biscuits using my old school method of my glass, now remember, press down. You don't wanna to give too much of a twist because that's going to prevent your biscuits from rising. You'll seal the edges so your biscuits won't get any height to them. So that's the purpose of not giving too much of a twist. Really just press down, pull away, and it'll come right out. Now, um, if you have a biscuit cutter, feel free to use your biscuit cutter. I use a glass. Sometimes I even use an old school teacup. Depends on what size I'm trying to achieve and just how I feel. Now remember, just regather your dough up, get it a little flour on it or baking mix. I don't know why I keep saying flour, but you know. And just press it back out. You don't want to fuss with it too much. And again, press down and we repeat the same process. All right. And once I have them in, I just flip them on the other side. So the other side gets some butter love. <laughs> and we leave them at that. Okay guys, so I have my uh, biscuit dough down. I added a little more baking mix on top and I have my frozen blueberries. Now I'm not gonna need nearly as much that's in here. So I'm just gonna make a kind of flatten this out a little bit. Just in case they decide to go rock and roll on me. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna grab some gloves and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm just going to just break apart any of the ones that are stuck together. It's not gonna really matter. I'm gonna take a little bit of your baking mix, a little more right on top, and we're just gonna to start to fold them in. Remember, it's still sticky. So we just have to help it along the way. And as we're folding them over, and <laughs> they are rolling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep folding them over, okay? And just start folding it over. And that was probably about a cup or maybe just shy of a cup there, but it's really up to you how much you would like. Um, but these come out so great. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them hitting the floor, but they are, they are not cooperating today. But that's okay, you're still gonna get eight. <laughs> Roll all you want. So this is coming along really good. And I'm gonna get a little more baking mix. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna keep folding. And if I need, and as I need, I'll add more baking mix. Same as before, it's just that we've incorporated the blueberries. And uh, these, this is looking pretty good. So I think I'm about where I wanna be. If any of them poke out, just push it back in. It's just that simple. All right. So I think we're there. So I'm just gonna press these out. And as these blueberries begin to heat up, they'll expand and it'll really make layers. It'll just make the biscuit nice and flaky and delicious. I thought I could 
get it in there. Okay, so again, press, get it out. Here's our blueberry biscuit. See our blueberries? And they go in. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Went right on through. These are gonna be amazingly good. All right, so I'm gonna finish and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so these biscuits are done. Yes, look how delicious, golden brown. And they are ready to be eaten. So you know what's next. Uh-huh, the taste. All right, guys, so they are done. Look at these beautiful pillows, let's call them. These beautiful biscuits. This is the plain, and these are the blueberry. Look how light and airy they are. All right, guys, no more. You know, some people like to eat these with either some maple syrup, me, I just like a little jam. I have some grape jam on the side. So that's what I'm gonna plop right on top. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my plain one. And then give you a peek see. All right, look at that. Do you guys see this? Mm-hmm, <laughs> child. Ooh, my hand shaking. Wait a minute. They're always good. I don't know why I'm even fronting with you. They're always good. They're always delicious. Now let's try our blueberry one. Looks so good. Oh, look at the inside. So moist, so light, flaky, so delicious. Child, new breakfast tr treat. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm, so good. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop me a comment down below. If you're a subscriber, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know every time I post a video. Till next time, guys. Biscuits out.